I'm so excited to share this new innovation in the RV space with you guys today because honestly, there has not been enough of that. In September, Chris and I had the privilege of spending four days with a small family-owned organ-based business called True Topper. This company created the world's first true one-piece slide room that's 100% watertight. You Tiffin Class A owners know what I'm talking about. And as impressive as that is, that's not what caught my eye. What intrigued me was their solution to the numerous problems of traditional fabric slide toppers. Today I'm going to share the entire installation process, a three month review, as well as a discount for our audience, that's you guys, at the end. Many RVs have slide outs or slide rooms and they're basically designed to, well, to make a small space bigger. I mean, look at the size of this rear living space, all because of the dual opposing slides. It lets us have all of that floor space as well as the big kitchen island. But there are some drawbacks that come with all that extra space. First off, they're not as weather sealed or insulated as the main roof or sidewalls. And it's kind of unnerving to realize all there is for protection from the outside elements is a couple of rubber flaps. Really, I think my biggest fear on these is water intrusion. So somewhere along the line in advancements of RVs came the traditional fabric slide topper. And it has some really great benefits. Mainly, it helps keep those outside elements outside. And for the most part, you don't have to go up on the roof to blow off or sweep off your slide outs. Also, some people believe they provide a little bit of protection from the sun, adding some extra insulation with the air gap, and maybe even some noise dampening from the rain. But there are also a handful of drawbacks to them. They add extra weight, especially if you have four or even five of them. They have ongoing maintenance requirements like checking the tension parts as well as keeping an eye on the fabric. You could have sagging, pooling, tearing, separation issues, and they can even be quite hard to clean under. I just saw last week a greenish science experiment growing on the side of somebody's RV. But in my eyes, the biggest problem with the traditional slide topper is the noise. Oh, the noise. When I would see a strong wind in the forecast, I just cringed. Some people say they've never heard a peep from their slide toppers ever, and others, like us, can't stand the noise. Go figure. Our last travel trailer had one six foot slide and it came with a traditional slide topper from the factory. And for the most part, we didn't have the majority of the problems like sagging, water pooling, or any of the fabric issues. But what we had plenty of was the noise the creaks, the squeaks, and the rattles, all day and all night if the wind was blowing hard enough. After making a video on slide toppers a year ago, we found out about a different solution that's been around for a bit in the OEM market with the Tiffin Class A motorhomes, and more recently in the aftermarket retrofitting almost all RVs. After developing a relationship with this small family owned company, it has grown into a partnership to share the installation of the True Topper system on our 2023 Alliance Paradigm fifth wheel. Oh, and I forgot to mention their property is also on an amazing hazelnut farm. If you want to see more on that, check out last week's video. After spending the night overlooking the hazelnut trees, we pulled out of our spot and Chris backed the rig up and nailed it on the first shot. Good job, dear. Once we got nestled into the shop, we were ready for the transformation to begin. Well, today what we're going to be doing is we'll be retrofitting these slide rooms to accept our poop topper system. Most all slide rooms have this a very similar flange like this around mm -hmm. the perimeter of it. The, the vertical ones that run on the side of a slide room work great. They, yeah. do, they do what they are designed to do. The ones that run across the top, um, if you think of it in terms of flashing, it's flashing that's in reverse, the way it should be. Okay. It, it's facing upwards and it's compressed against the side of the, the motorhome when it comes in. Yeah. So it's a little awkward and that's where the trouble kind of starts on a traditional slide room is that that flange up there tends to collect leaves and twigs and things like that. So when it comes in, it can't really close and seal properly or unless you clean it off ahead of time or yep. put some awning style toppers on mm -hmm. it. That upper flange is really kind of the culprit to all the kind of 
the beginning of problems. Yep. So our system eliminates that upper flange. Because the whole purpose of that flange is to, to be compressed against the seal. Compress the seal. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And vertically it's fine because you're not going to generally collect twigs and things along the vertical. It, yes. It's nice and clean. So with that flange gone and with our sweep system on top of there, mm -hmm. when the slide room comes in, it can push debris over the top yep. and allow your slide room to close every, you know, every time. It can just drop right over the top. And yep. then when our, when our topper closes, now you have what you would call proper flashing where the, it's overlapped from the top down. So today what we're going to do is we're going to trim these flanges uh, across the top. And then we also will take an add, we'll, we'll, we'll check all the seals along this portion, if you would imagine this was the roof. And we'll, we'll re-caulk this area, we'll caulk all the screws and double check them to make sure that they're all down tight. And then we put a cap over the whole thing. Okay. And it gets capped off and then it's protected virtually for life. It's just protected uh, from the sun and things like that. And that allows our sweep and everything to get swept right over the top. It's like a little ramp, you might say. Yep. Typically, would it be a one-day process normally without the painting? Um, one, to one to two depends days depends on the depends on how many slide rooms there are and, and things like that. There's a, a pretty large variety of manufacturing styles that came about from the early 2000s all mm -hmm. the way up to now. So if we we're doing an older coach, we might run into some very interesting um, tar tape that we have to clean off mm -hmm. first or yeah. some things like that that will slow us down. So most RVs mm -hmm. can be uh, retrofitted with these true toppers, uh -huh. but you guys still kind of do a case-by-case -case basis to, to yeah. make sure that everything yeah. works. Yeah. Because as we all know, there's a lot of different RVs yeah. in the past yeah. 50 years. Or Yeah, if you're going to travel any distance to get the uh, installation done, um, we usually ask people to send some photos or we gather enough information about their coach ahead of time yeah. so we can say, yes, we're confident this is going to be a good fit. Um, if we don't th think it is or we have any questions, we try to answer all those ahead of time yeah. before somebody makes, makes a trip over. Okay. Well, yeah. the dogs are getting restless inside there and uh, we're getting excited to get this project started. So thanks again, Dennis yeah. and the Chew Chopper team and uh, let's go. All right. So here we are, day one, actually minute one. These guys are setting up and uh, they're gonna go to our main patio slide because that's kind of the most tricky one because we have that awning attached to the side of, of the slide. Uh, and then there's also the uh, second patio awning that's right next to it. So that's gonna be kind of the tricky one. The, the two on the opposite side will be a little bit easier. And also the cutting uh, is one of the first steps that they do, so. So this is probably the scariest part for most of us uh, RVers, and especially since we just bought this brand new fifth wheel here, chopping off this flange was not the first thing I thought I was gonna be doing when we got it, but I think I'm in good hands here, Dennis. We practiced on a few at least. <laughs> okay, I know what you're thinking. Cutting off the tops of my RV slides is kinda crazy. But as soon as I talked with Dennis at True Topper and really learned how the system works and how much better it is at keeping water out of the slides, I was sold. And right away when we arrived, I had full confidence in Dennis, Jerry, and Neil, and you could tell by the way they effortlessly worked together, they knew exactly what they were doing. There we go, and then we'll, we'll sand this, smooth this egg off here, and we'll put our cap over it. With the slides trimmed down, they then started working on installing the aluminum ramps. This is the piece that allows the sweep to go up and over the edge, as well as seal off the top of the slide out. So what we've done here is we've cleaned off all of this uh, turnabond tape here, or this uh, putty tape, clean off around the screws and along the seam line, and Neil's putting a fresh bead of uh, high quality urethane caulk instead. And that'll That'll steal off that uh, seam before we cover it up with our molding. We usually follow behind and make sure that the caulk went over all the screw all the way. Check any other holes. This end here, we'll use uh, a different material right on the very end. Yeah, we'll put another bead of this uh, urethane because it's a good bond. We'll put it on this side of the cover. And then we'll also put uh, an industrial adhesive that goes in these sanded patches right here. 
And those have a really strong grip with those too. Type of adhesive? Yeah, this is uh, much like an epoxy. It's a two part material. It's called methyl methacrylide. It's, it's an industrial adhesive that's used in a lot of composite components. Okay. And, well, it smells very industrial. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I think they add that in their special. And to finish off the slide ramps, they constructed the middle and end caps out of that methyl methacrylate, or however you pronounce it. And so they completed this on all three slides, and that finished off day number one. Good morning! It is day number two. Beautiful morning here. The sun is out shining this morning. And I'm just going to give a little recap of what they accomplished yesterday. This is a little bit closer view of this aluminum. This is a, a baked on white enamel, but this is a, a piece of aluminum. And you can kind of just see how nicely that looks. It's just finished just beautifully. And on the ends, you can kind of see their technique of sealing up the ends. That looks nice and clean, all nice and watertight. Um, you know, from the factory, most RVs have just that butyl tape on there. And you can see how much more of a permanent sealed design this is. Once the hinge and sweep are temporarily put in its place, Dennis, the man who wears many hats, begins taping off the lines for the upcoming paint. Funny side note, in a previous life, back in the early 2000s, Dennis was the guy who hand-painted the murals on the back of the Safari Class A motorhomes. You know, the ones with the tigers and wolves and other safari animals? No, I'm not kidding. That's his signature right there. So I felt I was in pretty good hands with the custom paint true toppers. And this is also a good point to mention that the toppers come in a standard flat solid white or black color, which I think look pretty good and do match a lot of color schemes out there. But if you wanted, you could get a custom solid color or a complete striped color match like ours. Well, we're halfway through day number two and the puppies are relaxing. We have the slide all the way in uh, because they, they have the, the actual topper installed and they're getting the stripes for the custom paint. So they needed the slide all the way in. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty nice to be able to kind of still have our home and get something like this done at the exact same time. It's so nice. It would be just not as fun if you were like displaced in a hotel or something, because one, it's fun to be here for the process, right? You get to see exactly what they're doing, full transparency. It's really exciting to be a part of it and be here for it. And then two, it's like, okay, look at what I'm doing. I'm food prepping, I'm about to lift weights, the dogs are napping. You know, to have all your stuff here, it's just so valuable. And that's one of the hard things about getting projects done, whether it's an upgrade or a repair, you know, elective versus mandatory. Being displaced out of your home is so challenging. So just to, being here is something I really appreciate. The rest of the day was mostly dry fitting the topper sweeps and also applying the first base coat of the white paint. The next morning, the rest of the colors were applied and the final installation began. We were pretty excited to see it all come together and couldn't believe how good they look. They even color matched the screw heads for a complete custom look. When we saw them function for the first time, we knew we made the right decision. All the way out. Yep, all the way out. This is the okay, first. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens. Actually, we're gonna see the, the real magic on the end. Doesn't change much. Okay, now all the way in. The first test of our true topper here. Looking good. A 
Ooh. So smooth. Wow. Good job, guys. Yeah. Wow. What do you think? It looks really sharp. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Like a fancy window balance. <laughs> yeah. So how do these actually work? Let's take a closer look at the True Topper system. I think we've covered the aluminum ramp part pretty well. And the other main components are the aluminum hinge, which is a part that screws to your RV wall and that holds the aluminum sweep. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of questions on how this sweep part actually works. And I was pleasantly surprised to learn there is a rubber sweep or squeegee that goes down the entire length as well as a harder high slip, so think low friction, nylon type material that's self lubricating and covers the leading edge. So the first edge pushes the harder material like twigs, leaves, or even snow, while the second rubber sweep catches the finer, smaller materials and also does a really good job of squeegeeing off the water. The sweeps are then held tight closed when the slides are in by a spring lock on each side. And again, I can't say how impressed I am by this small family business. They aren't ordering these things from overseas and hoping for quality control. They're actually getting all of their extruded aluminum local from Coburg, Oregon, and making these all custom for every RV they do. I wasn't expecting this part. Look at this. They have a CNC mill machine that they make their own custom parts to, to their own exact tolerances and specifications. That means they can replicate their parts with virtually no variances and can produce them in batches for consistency. And they can also easily change up their design for improvements or custom jobs. So they actually made one of my end caps half the thickness as normal to accommodate the tight fit we have on our passenger slide in between our two awnings. So now that you know how these things are made and installed, I bet you wanna know how they've been working out for the past three months. Okay, it is our first travel day since getting the new slide toppers. And this spot was kinda tree-ish and overhang-ish, but we didn't really get a lot on the slides themselves. It has been raining for what feels like two weeks straight, but we're gonna push these slides in. So we'll see if it kind of pushes that water off the, the edge a little bit. But I will say with all of this rain, I really do love having these on you can see how it produces uh, a little bit of a uh, overhang so the water really can't even get in that that angle okay babe go ahead with two notice that little leaf thing there in the middle i couldn't tell if it pushed it off it pushed it all the way it was kind of wet and sticking all right, and with uh, our third slide here, there's a few small leaves. Again, they're gonna be wet and sticky. We'll see if they it kind of pushes them off. Okay, go ahead with the third. There's a little twig up there. Looks like it's catching the twigs. So this is the inside of the slide. You can see the wet, sticky, leaf there so that kind of pushed it out as as far as it went and then it didn't kick it all the way off but you know again that's like a a wet leaf that's kind of stuck to the the top but it's pretty clear up there um i could see the imprint of where the leaf was so it did push the wet leaf from there almost all the way out but still it kind of stuck to the end there a couple little twigs on the way far back part um, but it even kind of looked like it did squeegee that and get a good portion of the water off. And here's the bedroom slide. I can't really look. Oh, I can get a little view up top there. So pretty clean on the bedroom slide as well. I have to say for the first time using these in a very wet situation, not a lot of debris. I kind of wish there was more up there. Maybe I should have thrown some stuff up there. But uh, so far, so good. It's definitely doing 
the job that it's designed to do. And I mean, I'm pretty impressed with even just the water with it kind of squeegeeing and clearing off a good portion of that water. More testing to come, stay tuned. Here's another shot of the patio side slide from the outside view. And you can see the inside view, everything looking pretty clean. Now I think this is probably the best shot that I've captured that shows this. And if you see all these small, tiny, wet, sticky pine needles, it kind of looks like they're going straight underneath the topper. You can't even really see them fall. But when I go directly to the inside view of the slide, there are no pine needles on there. So I really think this shows uh, how well that sweep system works. And then this shot here is with kind of more dry, uh, fluffier leaves, if you will, which the system has no problem taking care of. So as far as my biggest concern about rain intrusion on our slides, uh, spending a month in the Pacific Northwest where I swear it rained almost the entire time, these things work great. And as Dennis mentioned, that proper flashing over the top, whether it's during travel or when the slides are out, it's still having that protection over the bulb seal. And that really does make a big difference. You can see in a few of the clips where my bulb seal was not flipped all the way. And during a heavy rainstorm, if you're not careful and you don't have any protection on your slides, uh, you could definitely get water in. Now, if you want an update on how well they work in the snow, I'm sorry, we try to avoid that stuff like the plague. So there is actually uh, customers that they have that do use these in the snow. So if you're one of those customers watching, let everybody know how you like it in the snow. So I was pretty sure the system was gonna work very well with dry kind of leaves and twigs and things like that, but I was very impressed at how well it worked with the sticky and the wet stuff. So far, we haven't seen anything that uh, is getting by the sweep, so they are doing their job. And as far as the sun protection on top of the slides that some people mention, you know, I don't really have a good way to test that. But from what I read, that if you have black fabric slide toppers, that actually absorbs the heat and is a little bit hotter um, than actually not having a cover on the slides at all. Maybe if you had white slide toppers, that actually might help a little bit. And I did read on their website, there is a testimonial from one of their customers that did some testing uh, between a slide topper and no slide topper. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link the uh, testimonial down below. But if you are the customer that's watching this, again, I wanna hear from you and hear your side from it. And speaking of that, if you are a previous customer of True Topper, I would love to hear your experiences, good or bad, if you wanna share that in the comments down below and uh, everybody can kinda of learn even a little bit more from more customers that have had this done. And as far as the noise dampening effect that a fabric True Topper can do, again, I don't really have a good way to test that, but I will say each one of my three slides sounds different in the rain. Actually, this slide right behind me here, which is a large slide and it's big and open, is the loudest and echoes the most. So our kitchen slide and our bedroom slide don't seem to make that much noise. But again, this larger one seems to echo a little bit. So perhaps a fabric topper would help dampen that noise a little bit. But again, I'll take a little rain noise over the wind creaking and squeaking from the slide toppers like we had to deal with before. We are very happy with the noise. We've spent a lot of time out west as well, in the desert area, high winds, and we haven't heard a peep from these things, and that's exactly what we want. We're actually in an area right now that has had a pretty constant breeze coming through, probably around, I don't know, 15-ish miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, and again, we don't even know that they're there. I see slide toppers all around me, flapping in the wind all day long, and uh, again, we don't have to deal with that problem. So I do have to mention one small problem that we did have, and you heard me talking earlier about the patio awning uh, slide topper where it's very close to the other patio slide. And they had to make the end cap half the width. And because it was half the width, they couldn't put their usual set screw uh, to hold the cap 
onto the topper itself. And so they kind of had to use the adhesive on that, but because our slide is a rack and pinion slide, it's held in uh, on the gear system on the bottom of the slide. So the top, I think, has a little bit of movement as well as our awning arms have a little bit of movement. So the awning arm actually caught the end cap and uh, pulled the end cap off. And again, one of the amazing things about this company is that they're able to adapt a solution to a problem of a new scenario that they ran into. So they were actually able to put in a different style set screw, uh, actually a little bit larger one, that's gonna hold that cap on even stronger. And I think they were even mentioning that they might go to this system uh, for all of their end caps even though they haven't had any issues with that before. But again, as we mentioned, every single RV is a little different. And right off the bat, I knew that patio slide was gonna be a tricky one. It was such a slim margin to fit there. So once we got the new set screw in there, it's been great. Well, what do you think about this True Topper system? I hope this video was in depth and informative. I really would like to hear what your thoughts are so please leave comments down in the section. I'll answer as many questions as I have. If you really want to know more or get an exact quote for a system like this, you can reach out to True Topper directly and there's three good ways to get a hold of them. Their email, their telephone number, or you can just fill out the form on their website. Now, roughly pricing for these, I can say run anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 per slide that's fully installed and the toppers themselves do have a lifetime warranty. And as I promised, if you let them know you watched this video with Irene Iron, you can get a discount on the True Toppers themselves for 5% with that discount code, Irene Iron. And the best part is if you don't live on the West Coast, they actually have three other professional installer locations in Florida, uh, Mississippi and Kansas where you can get these installed and you don't have to travel all the way over to Oregon. Although if you are in that area, I do recommend you go visit Dennis and the team over there. Now they're continuing to add professional installers to this list. I'll put a link down below to the most current locations that are out there. And if you are a professional installer that's watching this and this is perhaps a system that you might be interested uh, installing for your customers, you can reach out to Heidi and the team at True Topper and uh, make a connection there. Well, I think that covers everything. I've had a fun time doing this video. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments below. And again, reach out to the True Topper team if you really want to get a quote on your particular RV or if you have any serious technical questions that you want to get answered. Stay tuned for more updates on these toppers and we'll see you on the next video.